Today we are going to look at ordered pairs and how to get ordered pairs from a linear equation. So let's get started. So here is a linear equation. As we looked at previously, the two variables in the equation are both raised to the power of 1. There are y to the first power and x to the first power. But when you raise things to the first power, you do not need to show the 1. When placed on a graph, the xy pairs that satisfy this equation will produce a line. That's why it's called a linear equation. You can even see the word line within linear. So let's see if we can find some points. So I'm going to make a table to find ordered pairs of this linear equation. So we're going to have different values for x. And right now I'm going to use negative 2, 0, 2, and 4. But you can pick any numbers you want. And then I will evaluate this equation at those values. So I'm going to plug those values of x into the equation. And when we evaluate, this will give us the value for y. So at negative 2, we have negative 2 minus 2. This is negative 4. And this is the ordered pair negative 2, negative 4. Next, with an x value of 0, we have 0 minus 2. So this is negative 2, giving us the ordered pair 0, negative 2. With an x value of 2, we have 2 minus 2. That's 0. So our ordered pair is 2, comma, 0. And then finally, with an x value of 4, we have 4 minus 2, which is 2. And we have the ordered pair 4, comma, 2. Graphing these four points, we have negative 2, negative 4, 0, negative 2, 2, 0, and 4, 2. And connecting those dots, we get our line. And this is the graph of the equation, the linear equation, y equal to x minus 2. Any value for x that you can plug into this equation, any integer, fraction, decimal, it's going to give you a value for y, creating an ordered pair that's going to fall somewhere on this line. Any ordered pair that falls on this line is a solution to this equation. And then any point that's not on the line, for example, 2, 4, well, that's not a solution to this linear equation. Let's try another one. Here we have the linear equation, y equal to negative 2x plus 3. I'll create a table. So we're going to have x values. And for right now, I'll use those same x values. Negative 2, 0, 2, and 4. So that's going to be one column of our table. And then we're going to plug those into negative 2x plus 3. So we'll have negative 2 times negative 2 plus 3. Well, that's going to give us 4 plus 3. And for this second one, we have negative 2 times 0 plus 3. That's equal to 0 plus 3. Next, we have negative 2 times 2 plus 3. That's equal to negative 4 plus 3. And then we have negative 2 times 4 plus 3. That's negative 8 plus 3. So now let's complete this table. Get our values for y. So we'll just finish this math. 4 plus 3 is 7. So that's the ordered pair, negative 2, 7. 0 plus 3 is 3. So we have the ordered pair, 0, 3. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. We get 2 
negative 1. And then negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. We get 4, negative 5. Let's plot those points. So negative 2, 7. 0, 3. 2, negative 1. And 4, negative 5. giving us the line for this linear equation. Now for each of these two equations, I found four ordered pairs and plotted all four to generate the line. Really, you only need two points to create a line, but if you make a mistake, either in finding the ordered pair or in plotting it, your line will be wrong, but you won't be able to tell it's wrong. So, for example, in this last line, if by accident I forgot to add 3, and so I ended up with negative 2 times 4 plus 3, and then I just wrote down negative 8 here and forgot to add 3. That would give me the ordered pair 4, comma, negative 8, which is right here. And now let's pretend... So they only took this other point. So I have the point negative 2 comma 7 and 4 comma negative 8. Now the line connecting those two points looks more like this. And that's a different line. Our graph is wrong. But if we graphed all four points, we would notice that one point is not like the other. By plotting at least three points, an error would cause the points to not all fall on the same line. If you see this, you can go back and check your work. For this third equation, we have x equal to 3y minus 4. So we're going to plug in different values of y to get the value for x. So we're going to plug in different values for y. So we're going to y... But I'm going to use those same numbers. So I'm going to go negative 2, 0, 2, and 4. And we're going to plug those into 3y minus 4. So here we have 3 times negative 2 minus 4. This is equal to negative 6 minus 4. And this will give us negative 10 for our x value. Next, we have 3 times 0 minus 4. This is equal to 0 minus 4, or negative 4. 3 times 2 minus 4 is equal to 6 minus 4, which becomes 2. And then 3 times 4 minus 4 is equal to 12 minus 4, which becomes 8. So what are those ordered pairs? Again, with an ordered pair, we have x comma y. This is our graph. We have the x-axis and the y-axis. So the first coordinate is x, and the second coordinate is y. So our ordered pair is negative 10, negative 2, negative 4, 0, 2, 2, and 8, 4. Plotting those points, we have negative 10, negative 2, negative 4, 0, 2, 2, and 8, 4. And this is our line for the equation x equal to 3y minus 4. Now, throughout this unit, we will look at a lot of different ways to graph linear equations. But if you ever forget a particular method or are just not sure, you can always go back to creating ordered pairs, plotting those points, and then connecting the dots to generate the line. Let's practice one that's a bit more challenging. Here we have 2x plus 4y equal to 16. Now, in the previous equations, we had either y equal to 
and then everything else is on the other side. Or, in one case, we had x equal to. And we evaluated that equation for different values of either x or y. But this equation is not in that form. So let's start by converting it into one of these forms. And I'll rearrange it so it's y equal to everything else. So we're going to get the y by itself on one side and everything else on the other. So we're going to subtract 2x, giving us 4y equal to negative 2x plus 16. And then we have 4 times y, so we're going to undo multiplication using division. So we're going to divide the entire right side by 4. So this becomes y equal to negative 1 half x plus 4. So now let's create our table. So we're going to plug in different values for x. And I will use the same four points. So negative 2, 0, 2, and 4. And then we'll find negative 1 half x plus 4. So we have negative 1 half times negative 2 plus 4. This will give us 1 plus 4, which is 5. That's our y value. And then we have negative 1 half times 0 plus 4. This is 0 plus 4, which is 4. And then negative 1 half times 2 plus 4, giving us negative 1 plus 4, which is 3. And then negative 1 half times 4 plus 4, which is equal to negative 2 plus 4, which is equal to 2. The ordered pairs are negative 2, 5, 0, 4, 2, 3, and 4, 2. So we have negative 2, 5, 0, 4, 2, 3, and 4, 2. And our line for 2x plus 4y equal to 16 looks like this. A great way to learn is to practice on your own. We will discuss in a bit, but go ahead and pause your screen and do these two problems. This practice problem is very similar to the second problem we did. Again, we're going to plug in different values for x into our equation to generate our y values and our ordered pairs. Plotting those ordered pairs gives us the graph of this linear equation. For this second problem, the equation of our line is in standard form. So first, I converted this into a y equal to form, the slope-intercept form. And then from there, I evaluated at four different values for x, giving us the ordered pairs that, when plotted, generate the graph for this equation. Continue practicing graphing linear equations from ordered pairs, and I'll see you in the next video.